Hello, welcome to Happy Reading with Darby G. I want to warn you, my kitten is right next to the monitor, so she might be making a cameo, a cameo, I, I call it. Um, and I'm really, really sorry if she does, because it might go south. So this book is, or this video is going to be all about nonfiction reads for under seven. Um, and I'm going to kick it off with, this is the next series after the What is Poop book and What are Germs. This is for a little bit higher level of learning. And um, the brand new one we have is Why Do We Need Bees? And all the books in this series are going to have the same kind of look where it's very clean, endearing illustrations. And then this is gonna talk all about questions such as why do we need bees? Where do they live? What type of bees are there? Who is who in the beehive? What place do bees have in our um, ecosystem? And then also how to save bees. And this, these are written in such a way that it's easy for adults to understand, to teach. I mean, we might understand it easily, but it's, it's, it's a good way for us to process by telling them also, telling our kids how to do it, how it's done. And um, then we also have similar one with flowers and like seasons and how things grow. Then there is one on what is what makes, what makes it rain. It's all about the weather. And then there is one called How Do I See, which is all about the um, senses, such as see, you know, seeing, touching, and smelling, and all that. Um, and then the next series up is the Lift the Flap Questions and Answers series, and this one is about science, but there's, there's one on space, there's one on animals, there's a general one, there's one on the body and food. This one is science, and so it will basically, every page asks a new one of those questions. So how do hurricanes happen? And then it explains it. I won't read it all to you because it's going to take too long and I'm trying to go through this fast because there's so many amazing nonfiction books. But this is just so you can see the presentation. Moxie, do not eat my monitor. Come here, sweetie. Hold on. Pause, please. Get it? Pause. No, anyway. Um, okay. And then on the other spectrum, it, under the spectrum, we're, um, this is going to be for the younger kids with preschoolers and such. This is the first book about the orchestra. Feed your kiddos into music. This is fabulous because not only does it um, illustrate how an orchestra is, but make sure this is turned on. There's, it says, do you know an orchestra has drums too? They are called timpani, timpanis and they sound like this. Timpanis, sorry. And you can stop it. So there's one of those on every page. That's an awesome. We do have other sound books, but this one's more of the nonfiction side. So we do like our flaps at Osborne and this series is my favorite series. It's a look inside series and you'll see um, a look inside body book in one of my book in one of my videos and then one on planes and another but this one is going to be about the construction this is our brand new one and these are thick thick sturdy pages with lots of flaps and this talks all about um, different things in the construction sites um, how they build a skyscraper which my kiddo calls tall scrapers and I can't I don't have the heart to tell him it's not what it's called um, and also as well as the demolition site. So if your kid is obsessed with all things construction, this is absolutely a must have. It's my favorite construction book I've ever seen. And then um, I'm just gonna show you real quick the how look inside, how computers work, because this is a really difficult concept to understand, even as an adult. So what better way to do, um, teach somebody than with this very visual interactive, what, um, and maybe parents should actually read this too, because um, computers are going to be all the kids talk about and work with as they get older and I think it's very important that we as parents understand what's going on as well so um, and there's more in that series you can't go wrong with any of them they're all pretty awesome and then we have a lot of food books that apparently food and healthy eating is just something that is um, hitting the industry the publishing industry so with this new one we have is all about how things grow, like how your food grows and how it starts with the seed. Um, did you know that there's some food that has to grow in the dark? You'll learn all that. And it's written in a really cool way with a lot of illustrations and little tidbits of information throughout. And if this one's a hit, you'll also want to try our Look Inside food book as well as our See Inside Where Does Food Come From? And then 100, and 100 Things to Know About Food. My favorite book right now, well, not my favorite, okay, it's in the top five favorite books, continues to be this Mysteries and Marvels of Nature. Check out these images that are just fabulous. Um, this is going to talk about the special features that um, animals, birds, and plants have to survive. For example, a horned lizard will shoot blood out of something on its head. 
So then the predator tastes it, thinks it's disgusting, and then won't eat it. So things like that. It's just so fascinating. I enjoy it just as much as my kiddo does. All right, so our big book series, we have several in the series. There's ones on the machines. There's one on rockets and spacecraft. There's animals. There's the body. We have several. So look up this series because these will feature four fold-out flaps with humongous illustrations and then little bite-sized chunks of text. And these are great for four and up, but I do know several two and three-year-olds that just can't get enough, especially the trains and the machines book. So that's the big book series. And then last but not least is our My Very First series, which is going to have thick cardstock pages, no flaps in this, but a lot of illustrations and little chunks of text. And then this is just a good intro to whatever that subject is. So we have one on our world that is currently out of stock at the time I'm recording this, which is in early September. Um, this one's the dinosaur one, and then we have one on space. So these are great, great ones to just get them in, into a subject. So thank you so much for joining. Happy reading and happy learning.